What's up? What's good? It's your boy, Tommy Springfield, a.k.a. The King of Talk, back up in here with another one of these videos. If you know how I do, holla at your boy. Hit that click, like, share, subscribe, and we're going to get into this video. But before we do, what I really want to know is... How you doing? How y'all doing out there? So... In this video, we got this guy four years ago, prior to any of the Diddy news and even the United States being into war, this dude shot up Trump Tower and he was being interviewed by Secret Service and he told them some interesting things. At the time, you may have thought he was crazy, but if you watch the video, everything he said came to light. Let's get into it. Enough of me talking. Do you know Sean Combs? Pop Daddy? Yeah. P. Diddy, whatever you call himself these days. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he's part of what's called the Boule. The, the Boule. Is, the Boule is a branch of the mm -hmm. Illuminati. Okay. It's the black people. Okay. Uh, I'm from Africa, so I'm not a racist. Okay. Okay, you're my brother, so I like black people. Okay. My, my mom, I was raised by an by a African woman in my house. Okay. Unless you've been under a rock. He is totally correct. The boule, as they call it, is supposedly, allegedly, the black branch of the Illuminati. But let's let him continue. She was just a servant, but she was my, my own. She, you know, took care of me. Right. So I love black people. Okay. okay. Um, I had settlement with Sean, okay? And he belongs to that agenda. That's why he's so famous. They land all the contracts. It's his attorneys, which are... <laughs> Mark Garagos and Ben Mercedes. Ben Mercedes worked for Bad Boy Entertainment for four years and worked for Hillary Rodman for five. Okay. Now, did you hear what he said? <clears throat> he said, this lawyer worked for Diddy and Hillary Clinton. This is how in the industry connections get made through your lawyers, through all type of people on your staff. But let's let him continue. Okay, when I, I take Sean on the threat of death on me, okay, I don't have it, but I can make it available under secrecy. That means that I wouldn't be liable because I don't want to be getting framed for anything, okay? Right. Um, I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard a lot of business because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the, on the phone and on the TV with speakers and stuff and I would be in the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Now, mind you, this man said this four years ago. If you listen to him, He's going to date it. He's going to say last year. So this is around 218, 219. He said he was a sex slave for Cassie and Diddy. Way before any of this Diddy news is out. Way before Cassie's lawsuit. Way before Little Rod's lawsuit. Four years. So at the time... He's being interviewed by the Secret Service because he shot up Trump Towers because he had a message with Trump or whatever. Yes, sounds crazy, but listen to what he said before any lawsuit. So, is he capping? Was he making shit up or was he telling the truth? Let's go back. What they would do is Sean talks a lot on the third secrecy. That means that I wouldn't be liable because I don't want to be... Oh, and he said he can give proof, but under secrecy. Why would he say that? It's because he have a, a confidentiality agreement where he can't be really telling people this information. But let's listen to him. Getting framed for anything. Okay. All right. Um, I had sex with Cassie and Sean. Basically, he would uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters, and I heard a lot of business. Because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the 
on the phone and on the TV with people and stuff, and I would be in the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Um, I caught herpes, and I came back, and I seen for the herpes, and won. Now, listen. He said he caught herpes. Now, we all know it was rumored that Usher and them had herpes, and did he did things with Usher, so... Is he lying again? He says he sued and won. Listen to the man. Don't listen to me. But they didn't want, did Mark Gerogos and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? And Christopher Neons here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave it back to me accidentally, and it's possible I I threw everything out as possible. I can produce a copy. Yeah, true. It's possible. I'm not sure. No. Well, I'll be trying. I'll be trying. My settlement put me in a box. Basically, I couldn't talk because I was be sued. So I let it be. But they've been following me, and they've had Mark Garrick has had uh, the FBI on me, has had other department, other agencies looking at me and spying on me. Okay, because they want to set me up as an extortionist. Like if I was storing Sean for money, it's wrong. Basically what happened is Diddy said Ross, which they good buddies, okay? Mm -hmm. They 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 gay. Who? Both. Diddy and Ross. And Cannon. They all Now did you hear what he said? He claimed Diddy sent Ross at him. Like, yo, you know. You'll hear later on in the video, it was over. It was after the lawsuit settlement that he sent Ross at him. But he said they all gay. You know, we hearing all of that too. Mind you, let me remind you, this was four years ago before any lawsuit came out. Gay. Okay. DJ Kelly, Rick Ross, yeah. and P. Diddy? Yeah. They all gay? Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Kelly is a harm supporter. Okay. Supporter? Hamas. 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 Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I said the wrong. No, 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 no. Hamas supporter. Okay. Right. Basically, he's Arab, Palestinian. Okay. <laughs> um, the Sirach agenda. Okay, is basically binge drinking poured out on a yacht. They promote binge drinking and drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the hip hop agenda was supported, was laid out by Obama during his last presidencies purposely. That's why they had Chupac killed. Because when they kill them, you gain fame. When people, your record sales go up, and then people listen to your lyrics and everything, and then you become famous. Okay, that's how they do it. All right. Um, Chupac's still alive. Yeah, no, no, no. He's, he's, he's in Cuba. See, <clears throat> now mind you, he said all the Cassie stuff, and I agree with him because it's all out now. She said that they would get random sex slaves. So now he's talking to Tupac alive. Now, you see, this way he lost me. I'm going to be honest. He lost me on that. But he, you will not tell me that he's lying about the Diddy and Cassie stuff because, mind you, this is four years before the lawsuit four years before the lawsuit let's let them talk mm -hmm. um basically what happens is from the hip-hop agenda is an agenda to move drugs all over the united states mm -hmm. they move you need to involve the DA. they they move all the dope Okay, all the dope on private jets, which don't get screened by, by, uh... By customs? By... Now, you uh, something else he said that you know is true. He said they moved the dope on private jets. How many rappers got caught moving drugs on private jets? You know, we got Rallo, just came home from doing it. We got Diddy Man, just got caught doing it. And there's a number of other rappers. I didn't research it before I shot this video, but he, he, once again, he's telling you facts that has happened in the four years since he gave this interview. 
inside the yeah, 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 well, the okay. uh, inside the United States. Okay, they they move what's called high grade powder MDMA. They move cocaine and they move cr uh, liquid cocaine in their bottles too. Okay, so they put the liquid cocaine in the bottles and they move. I seen the liquid cocaine. I drank it myself. Having sex with Diddy and Cassie. Okay, it's not good. He drinks it all the time. Or I call it GG, that's like the cocaine. Now, <coughs> what I found interesting about that, he said he called it G juice, right? Now he's about to go in to talking about Michael Jackson. Remember, they said Michael Jackson used to have stuff in soda cans that he would give the kids and he would call it Jesus juice. And now, did he call it G-Juice? Jesus Juice, G-Juice, it's all kind of connected. I'm just saying. I'm just showing the similarities, that's all. Uh, and he's a witness that Ross came and threatened me at my house. Post-settlement. After we settled, did he send Ross and I asked him to go see if that was Ross and he confirmed the daddy. So, so, Gonzalez. And... <clears throat> I got to be honest to anybody that views this video. <clears throat> I did chop it up, <clears throat> but I didn't chop it up in a way where I made him say anything. I chopped it up in a way where there was a whole bunch of other stuff that he talked about. And, you know, remember, he just shot up Trump Towers. So there's a lot of the stuff about Trump Towers, too. So I, I just cut all that out to fit the Diddy narrative and what's going on with Diddy. So I thought that I'll throw that out there. So uh, he can back up what you're saying about yeah. P. Diddy and yeah. Ross and all that? Okay, yeah. all right. Now, um, um, how does this lead towards Donald Trump? Okay. The Mercedes family, uh -huh. Ben Mercedes, uh -huh. that works with Mark Garagos. Mark Garagos used to be Michael's Jackson attorney. Yeah, out in Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah. he had a, yeah, he dropped Michael and they all deed him. Now, you can go back, and if you want to do the homework, you can Google all these lawyers. You can see that they worked for all these people he claiming because they did. So, you can go and do your homework. I'm not here to do it all for you, but let's let them finish up. It's only a couple more minutes. Yeah, yeah. he had a... Yeah, he dropped Michael, and they all deed him, okay? He had an overdose. They all deed him because they keep the royalties of the music. Michael alone made 860 million. Now you heard him, he said, you didn't know the yourself, they killed him. But who am I? I'm just a YouTuber bringing you stuff that I find. Dollars alone <laughs> last year, okay, in 2017, which who keeps that royalty? The music companies. Who represents the media and entertainment in the United States? Most of them. Mercedes does. Kenny Mercedes. Now, what people got to remember, this was four years ago, before any Cassie lawsuit, before anything. Can he just be that crazy? He just pulled that out of thin air and it came to light? It came to be true? I doubt it very much. This dude was telling people stuff. They thought he was crazy because he shot up Trump Tower. It's your boy, Tommy Springfield. If you like what I'm doing, hit the like button, <clears throat> hit that share, subscribe, comment in the comment section, and if you out here supporting, much love and respect, if you out here hating, cut the shit.